Okay, I'm watching the Olympic Tokyo Games, the water polo. USA versus Japan. USA has got one. I don't know if you guys are into the Olympics. I'm going to go outside because it's kind of loud. But um, this is an update. This is for the UPS package handler position update. So as you guys know, whoever follows me that I'm part-time working at UPS and full-time working at a custom glass shop where I make custom shower doors. I'm a fabricator. A lot of fun. It's a new industry for me because I've never done custom shower doors before. I'm a welder and I'm a machinist. I went to a vocational college and graduated as a certified machinist. It was like an eight month course, five days a week. We'll talk about that later, but that was a lot, a lot of fun. But it hit during the pandemic, so of course it was difficult to find work. But being a custom glass shower door uh, fabricator is really cool too. So I'm learning, it's an industry and it's a trade and I like to work with my hands. So bottom line, that's going really well. But on top of that, after I leave there, I'm there all day, like usually a nine hour day there. I go to UPS right afterwards. Again, for those of you who are following me, you know that. So I'm updating you more about UPS than anything else um, because the benefits there are just off the charts really good. The medical, the dental, the vision is full coverage with no cost to the employee, which is amazing. Even though you're a part-time employee, you get full-time medical, dental, and vision for you and your family if you're married, your kids. That's worth the price of admission right there if anybody understands how that works in the United States with healthcare coverage and privatized medicine having a good med medical insurance coverage plan is like must have kind of stuff you know it makes you sleep a little bit easier knowing that you're covered in case you have an injury or whatever you know what I mean or if you need glasses so all right so first week was training it goes five days, you're there, you check in, you uh, do paperwork, watch videos, do OSHA safety stuff, uh, watch a lot of videos, you get to know everybody, they give you a tour, tell you about what's going to be expected and what to expect, your start time, they tell you that, they know you're, know you're getting hired with as a package handler, that's what my, my work crew, we were all, you know, the new group that started with me. We're all like, they're like, congratulations, welcome to UPS. You guys are all package handlers, but you're going to be doing different things. Loaders, unloaders, um, sorters, a bunch of other different things. So I got hired to be a, a package handler unloader. So basically, when the trucks come in, there's a guy in the yard who grabs the trailer, puts it to the dock. You get assigned to that dock. You unload it, put it on the conveyor system belt. And there's, you know, you got to learn hazmat so you know how to deal with leaky packages or hazardous materials. You get trained on all that in the first week, you, what to look for and what to do when you see it. There's certain symbols and if there's poison, you know, like bug spray or whatever you're dealing with. Or if you have a leaky package, notify supervisor, they give you the training on that. Other than that, it's just get after it. Some of the packages are heavy. You can get packages that are like 90 pounds. Some are 70, some are 75. Just depends. Sometimes they're light, 20 pounds or less. Um, some are like one pound. You just never know. Small boxes, medium sized boxes, big boxes. There's bulk packages. You, have, you put those on a different kind of a conveyor belt than the regular so that the system doesn't jam. So there's a bulk belt and a regular belt. Uh, typically you're gonna do four and a half hours. So my sort for twilight, which is from typically about 5.30 in the afternoon until about 10.30, that's a five hour window. And that's pretty much what, what it's been. So this is the end of my second week. That first week was training. The second week you're on the floor the whole week for five days. Uh, you're on your feet, you get one 10 minute break. And uh, almost every day they were asking me to stay like, can you stay another shift? Can you stay a sec? And I'm new, like I just started. And from that first day Monday, hey, would you like to do a double shift? Hey, would you like to do a double shift? And I was like, I can't, I gotta work my day job. I gotta wake up at six o'clock in the morning, shower, brush my teeth and go to my day job and work nine hours there and then leave and go right to UPS. So I was like, I can't do it, I'd love to, but <laughs> the reality is I wouldn't love to because it's hard work. But knocking out one shift, four and a half hours, as a package handler is not that bad. It's not overly grueling. Doing two shifts would be challenging. I don't know how guys do that because um, it is tough. 
if you're like 22 years old, 21, more power to you, you can do it. But when you're over the age of 50, then it's difficult. So for me, that one four and a half to five hour shift, no problem. I'll knock it out, sweat like a pig, you lose weight, you drink a lot of water, stay hydrated, drink some Gatorade, and have a good attitude, keep a good positive attitude. And it's not that bad, man. Great benefits. After nine months, you get full medical coverage, full dental coverage, full vision coverage, which anybody who lives in the United States know about knows about our privatized medicine system. You cannot beat UPS's coverage. It is no copay. Um, if you need surgery, you need eyeglasses, you're good. And your family, if you're married, your, your kids, you can put them on your medical. It's a great way to go. That alone is worth the price of admission. For that reason just alone, I recommend you become a part-time employee, package handler, whatever, at UPS. If you're married and you have kids or whatever, and you need Class A medical coverage, vision coverage, and uh, dental, because it just it's such a big plus of work in there. Um, the pay is $14.50, which isn't great, but that's entry level. Just the way it is, it's cool, you you're, you know. Raises come, like I think in January, the federal guidelines will be 15 an hour as minimum in California. So right now, 1450 is what they pay. That's what they offer. If you don't want the job, don't apply. Um, breaks down to be about 250 a week after taxes. The union is going to get their cut. They take out $25 per check in the beginning until you pay off the initiation of the union, which is like 150 bucks or 200 bucks. After that, it's $29 a month. As long as you work there, you will pay the $29 a month. The union is uh, Teamsters Union, which is one of the better unions, one of the original unions with the whole Jimmy Hoffa thing. Look that up. Um, but unions are really good to have, and this one is a good one. It's not great, but it's as unions go, it's a good one. Teamsters is a solid, well thought out, been around a long time kind of union. UPS has been around for over 100 years. They were started in 1907 up in Seattle, Washington. Look all that up. I don't want to go too much into detail about the history, but it's the company's over 100 years old and, and they're global. So they ship all over the United States, all over Canada, Mexico, all over China, Japan, Australia. UPS is global, Germany, whatever, the whole world, right? Vietnam, all over Latin America, South America, every continent pretty much. Uh, UPS does it all. Air, ships, and ground, UPS has it covered. It's like federal FedEx, DHL, you know, big, big shipping companies. UPS is not the only one, but it is one of the better ones. Uh, how am I hanging? It's cool. I like it, actually. Um, honestly, I'm being super honest. I do like it because four and a half hours is not that bad, and it goes fast. And... It can be physical. You're sweating. You're, you're sweating and you got to get used to it. Your body's got to adapt to the that workload. But, um, and you know, some days are better than others. You got to wear comfortable socks, comfortable shoes, uh, drink a lot of water, Gatorade so you stay hydrated because people will pass out. And again, four and a half hours is not that long. So do your best if you want to do it. The benefit is the location I work at uh, is new. It's only a year old. They just opened a year ago. So my seniority is going to be able to go up quickly. Um, people quit all the time. It's not for everybody. People get promoted, and if they promote to supervisor, that opens up a seniority spot for you to bump up. People who become drivers or package drivers, that opens up a seniority spot for you to bump up. People transfer out and go to other UPS hubs, you bump up. So in a year, your seniority is really good. Um, there's not that many people that I work with that have been there that long. Some people have been there nine or ten months. So they're like nine or ten months ahead of me. Those are the mo most senior people. <laughs> are you still? Yeah, we're still. I almost dropped the phone. So the most senior people at my hub are like nine months in, ten months in, eleven months in. That's it. Because the place has only been open just over a year. So my goal is to be a driver. I think I said that before. I already talked to my boss about it. He goes... You can apply after six months of working here. That's when you put in your request. You can start getting uh, driver uh, covered routes, which is when a driver goes on vacation, you cover his route for two weeks, three weeks, and you get paid at uh, entry-level driver rate, which is 27 an hour. 
and then you go back to package handling and then when a permanent route opens up you bid for it uh, based upon seniority again how long you've been there who else wants it if no one else wants it you'll get it and you'll start at that entry level driver route 27 dollars an hour and then top pay scale like every year once you're a permanent driver you you get raises and the top driver package driver scale i believe is 39 dollars an hour currently so it takes six seven years eight years to get to that level to where you're making 39 bucks an hour but you're still starting off at 27 an hour as a full-time package driver that's pretty good and there's always overtime and they get paid the drivers get paid every week too so paydays every friday or every thursday something like that uh so making 1800 a week is about what a driver entry level at $27 an hour is going to make. You're going to make anywhere from 15 to 1800 a week. The top level drivers when you get to your max pay scale, those guys are probably making 3 or 4000 a week. Do the math. $39 an hour and you're working 12 13 hours a day do the math so that's my goal my boss already told me he goes you're probably going to be able to drive after seven or eight months he goes apply after six so stick it out you start driving and the benefits are great because the pay is great um after about a year i could probably get a permanent route maybe a year and two months a year and four months because of the fact that this hub is so new then you're talking about a great career path because you get raises and holiday pay and all that. You know, there's Labor Day, uh, Christmas, New Year's. You have all those things going on for you. So if you work those days, I think you get time and a half and double time. And, you know, as a package driver, you're making 27, 28, 29. It goes up. It keeps every year you get a raise while you're working a route. You're making great money and you have great medical benefits. But meanwhile, I'm a package handler. And same thing, you're a union employee. You have the same medical, same dental, same vision plan. And um, there's overtime if you want it, which I don't want because <laughs> it's physical. But it's a great part-time job. So if you're interested in UPS as a part-time job for a while until you get... Um, to be a driver or management you can get into management they'll ask you they'll approach you they're like hey you want to be a supervisor which i don't uh you usually when you become a supervisor at ups you lose your union you're no longer a union employee do they get medical and dental yes they have to pay out of their pocket whereas the package handlers we don't have to pay for it do they get extra hours overtime yes they get asked to do double shifts as well and the supervisors start off at 21 an hour and I think they top off at like 26 an hour. Ah, uh, not for me, I don't wanna do that. But I'm more stressed and the pay is okay. It's not, to me it's not worth it. They're not protected by the union. They can be fired like that for any kind of safety issues. They're under a lot of stress, but if that's what you wanna do, more power to you. Some of the supervisors I've worked with is really, are really good people, good people, uh, solid, you know, hardworking and all that. But they're, they are under a lot of pressure. Uh, to do a lot of different things. I'm there as a part-time uh, package handler. I like it. I recommend it. And I do have an end goal to be a driver and make UPS my career. My fabrication job, when I'm making those custom shower doors, that's a lot of fun. I'm learning a lot, and I'm doing a lot with power tools, hammers, uh, screw guns, nail guns, you know, air compressors. And we ship that all over the place. We use UPS too and, and local glass shippers. And it's fun. And I've learned a lot about tempering and the tempering of glass and what safety glass is and all that kind of stuff. Double pane, like like this kind of glass, you know. So that is my $18 an hour full-time get paid every two week job, which is pretty cool because, you know, that's an extra $1,400 or so every two weeks so that pays the bills and that um covers like my car payment which is almost paid off and i can't wait to pay that car off like four more payments five more payments done it's always good to get out of debt quickly so pay your car off quickly and 
I don't know what else to talk about UPS, but this has been two weeks so far, and so far so good. I, I was just tired today, Saturday. I was tired this morning, so I slept in. I usually get up early. I didn't get out of bed till like 11.30 in the morning, which is not normal but for me. But because I'm working two jobs, and one of them being physical, and I get off at 10.30 at night, it, it takes a toll on you. You gotta get used to it. I drink a lot of water, but I needed rest, so I got it. Back 100% now, kinda, 90. And I'm taking it easy, it's Saturday, I don't have a lot to do. Tomorrow's Sunday, I'm gonna take it easy. Maybe barbecue, just kick back, go to the pool or something. Relax, no working out, don't need to work out. <laughs> Cause I work out at work. UPS is a workout, those packages, that's a workout. If I do anything, it'll be stretching to prepare myself, uh, take some vitamins, consume a lot of water, eat a lot of fresh fruit, fruits and vegetables. And I think stretching is gonna be a big thing for me because uh, my circulation is good because I'm sweating a lot and I'm moving around. And if I do go work out at the gym, it's probably gonna be the elliptical or the exercise bike or get in the pool and swim laps and you know, that's just relaxing. So that's it. If you have any questions about UPS, how to get hired, anything about the MOU, which is the Memorandum of Understanding, you get a copy of that or you can download it and it talks about your union and benefits. Uh, after 30 days, you pass your probation, meaning beyond time and don't call off sick for 30 days. Boom, you just pass probation. Then after 70 days, there's like more of a hard, a hard probation, meaning you are now eligible for all rights and privileges after 70 days. And then after nine months, your medical dental vision kicks in at 100% coverage, which is a great thing. And then, I don't know what else after that, but then, but also, oh, after six months, that's when you can apply to be a package driver. If you desire to be a driver, um, apply after six months and then they have your paperwork on file and when there's a position that opens up, even if it's just to cover temporary routes, like where a guy's on vacation, do it because you get the experience and you get a higher pit rate of pay for maybe two weeks or three weeks, then you go back to the package handling responsibilities. But hey man, for those two or three weeks, you were making 27 an hour gaining some great experience as a driver. So that's my package handling story at UPS so far. So far so good, I do like it and I do recommend it. And there's just, I don't have, there's no downsides in my opinion. It's just, it's a job and it's physical and the pay is okay. But uh, I say do it. Uh, just, you, you just have to know what you want and know what you don't want. I know what I want and I think it's a good company. So whoever's interested, let me know. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. It's hard, it's physical. You sweat the entire time and sometimes you get heavy boxes. Sometimes you get a whole truck full of heavy shit and you just kind of get after it, man. And uh, there's no way around it. <laughs> Hopefully you're in shape. If not, this will get you in shape. Uh, anybody who was ever in the military, you'll understand how this is a tough mental game and you gotta just kind of deal with it. All right, so any questions, let me know. Um, I don't know too much about FedEx and I don't know too much about DHL, but they're similar. I know a lot about Amazon. I worked there for a year. If you had to compare the two, I would choose UPS over Amazon every time. Thanks for watching. Staff Sergeant Calhoun out.